Hey guys, so we're here today to play with making some prints. I've got my Jelly Arts jelly plate out. I've got some drawing paper, some deli paper, um, some Deco Art Americana paint, which I like using on the jelly plate, some powdered pigments, <clears throat> some found objects, um, and homemade a few homemade stamps. I also have this I put on my social media recently. We bought a new bed for ourselves. And this was part of the packaging material. And I looked at this and went, <gasps> I needed to have, they had a bunch of these pieces that came wrapped into different parts of the bed. And I went out and grabbed one and the guys both looked, that were delivering both looked at me. I said, I can't explain this to you very well, but I'm a mixed media artist. I need this to make marks with. They both just were very puzzled. And my husband basically said, don't ask. So <laughs> um, that being said, I do have, I have had and do have smaller pieces of a similar material that I got in a piece of furniture years ago. I don't remember exactly how long ago. I cut them up and glued some of them to another piece of cardboard and make, made this stamp with them that I love. This is actually an extra piece of the same thing. And this is basically the same kind of cardboard. It's just much bigger. So um, <clears throat> when you're buying furniture like Ikea furniture and things like that um, you know look for these kind of packaging materials and because they make interesting marks so I'm going to fast forward through my process and um, make some paper and fill up my drying rack uh, with some painting papers and um, my friend Peg Robinson um, showed using powdered pigments on the jelly plate recently and also powdered graphite, which I don't have, but I was wondering when I was watching that, this has pencil shavings in it. I wonder what that would do. So we're gonna play with that and try that too. So I'm gonna fast forward through it and I'll be right back.
Okay guys, so look at all these painty papers. I know when I'm making them, you don't always get a great look. Um, we'll try to get one now. I use them for collage. I don't generally use them for as a finished piece of work. They're backgrounds. They're something that gets torn up and used in collage. Um, maybe cover the outside of a journal. So I always want ones with different marks, different tones. I, you know, this one is so simple, and I don't know. Yellow is not even my favorite color, but I love it. I have this one over here, and there's so many. I don't even know if, I'm, if I can get them all on camera to show you all. Let me see if they're dry enough to take off the rack. And by the way, in case you're wondering, this is a clothes drying rack. <laughs> um, and then uh, from Amazon, I have clip hooks on it. These clip hooks are actually from Daiso. But if I can find a similar one on Amazon, I'll link both the clothing rack and the hook uh, in the description below. I have room for this um, to be out in my art room. I, it's not out all the time. It does fold up flat and will fit in the closet when I'm not using it. And this way I have drying space to, as you can see, get a lot of stuff on there to dry. Um, hang on one second. They are dry, so I decided to take them. Oh, shaky camera. They are dry, so I decided to take them off the drying rack. And as I'm talking, we'll do a quick flip through of all of the uh, papers that I did from this go round. This is just dollar store drawing paper. And as I said, I like these random, I just love this one. Um, I use them for collage. I use them for to cover small journal covers. Um, I don't generally use them as is to create artwork on. Sometimes I'll do double-sided ones and I'll use them as a background and make journal signatures out of them. Most of the time they're just collage fodder. I like creating my own collage materials, my own mixed media supplies. Tracy Bautista says in her classes, if you've ever taken one, um, she calls it leveraging your own work. Um, making copies of your own work in color and black and white and using it in other art projects and just instead of buying so many papers, not that you don't buy any, but um, most of the time you just create your own. And these for the most part, are made with found mark making tools. The honeycomb one that you saw was a piece of a silicone pot holder. This is a homemade stamp, as is that one. This is that packaging material. Sorry, my phone, my computer's dinging in the background. Um, I played with putting some pigment powders on the jelly plate, which was a lot of fun. And I just generally had fun with a few paint colors, um, not too many ones that I knew would blend well or create something interesting. So you don't have to have a jelly plate to do this kind of thing. You can use a piece of craft foam. You could try doing it on a piece of acrylic. Um, you could try doing it on one of these silicone mats. Just make painty marks. And um, when you're gonna do it, do a big stack like this. Get a pad of dollar store drawing paper and just fill, do the whole pad. Um, 25 sheets or however many sheets are in the pad and just make marks with paint or ink um, or whatever else you have and create some interesting um, collage papers for you to, add, to use and if you want you can share them with your friends. You can turn them into a digital um, download uh, that you can print then print out and work from the same copy over and over again even after the original is gone. Um, I do that a lot and I sell them in my Etsy shop. And these are no different. I'll be going through them after, um, you know, I'll let them sit for a couple of days. And this may be one of them that I actually scan, not only for my own personal use, but for putting in the Etsy shop. And I'll probably do a jelly print bundle. I usually, when I do jelly prints, I usually do a bundle. So you buy the bundle for, say, $3 or $5, and you get, you know, I don't know, 12 sheets. And this was just the clean off page, by the way. But I love that. So. These are what we created today. I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you would like to support the free content here on YouTube or follow me to see what I'm up to on social media, you can click on the Linktree link, which is in the description below, and you'll find all the different places you can do that. My Etsy shop, uh, my Amazon store, where to buy my book, my Patreon, all that stuff along with Instagram and Twitter and everything else. So click on that and um, 
I think my happy mail address is down there and everything else. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of future videos. And above all, go out and have a great day. Paint some papers, have some fun, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.